Hey there, ECFers. Uh, I wanted to get a little video done for this just because uh, there's a lot of you that were looking for something new and something fashionable and you're just getting sick of the uh, normal stuff I've been doing lately. So yeah, I wanted to bring in the one I just got done doing. It is actually has a drip well in it and it's an 18650 with a display on the front, the little buttons on the side and uh, I put the potentiometer down here at the bottom due to request. As always, as a on-off switch, um, he wanted a couple of different LEDs. He wanted the red on one side and the white on the other. Hard to kind of see that. There you go. There's a little bit better one. Uh, and he uses almost solely uh, ego cartomizers and stuff. So he wanted the drip well to be large enough that you could fit whatever you want down in there. It's a half inch deep and if it's a half inch wide. So it's not small at all. It's a normal little Ego T-Tank and uh, you can see how far it goes down in there. It sits pretty deep. I do not have a stealth little Ego 510 adapter so I have to use this which looks incredibly stupid but it works for the purpose of showing what it vapes like. Let's see here. 4.2 volts. Pretty solid vapor. Now we'll turn it up to go with 4.8 volts. That's a good one. It's got good taste, it's got good vapor. Um, I've never, I started out with the Ego T tank, but I'm just not a big fan of them. They, uh, they have a harder draw than other stuff, and I don't have any of the Ego sized cartomizers, so I just put a little normal Addy on there. The funny thing is, when you put a normal Addy on there, you can barely see it out the top. It hits very nicely. Uh, we are dubbing it the fire engine, which is what he wanted to call it. Of course, as always, it goes from, uh, I think I, this one's a little higher because of the fact it was going to be running uh, dual coils and stuff. I have it set to where it goes up to 6.1. Uh, let's see the drop out. It is at 4.9. Adding on it. 4.8.1 volt drop out. It's not bad at all. It does hit real nicely. And I actually like the way it uh, the lights. The red one is a little bit better as far as throwing it down to the bottom than the white one. But even with the back on there, it shoots the light down to the bottom really nicely. Fills the whole case pretty well. Uh, be shipping it out tomorrow to him, so it's the last time you'll see it.